Some people have overweighted for the Lord and they have given up on God. A lot of people who are going to church have actually given up on God. They no longer believe. But if they stay at home, somebody is going to ask them, why didn't you come to church? The pastor is going to come after them and ask them, why were you not in church? So, they just want to go to church. There are many unbelieving believers today. Those who no longer believe. Those who, are, who have given up. Some of the children we dedicate in church are not from God. Some of the houses, some men of God, dedicate the blessings they use in building those houses were not from God. For instance, in Africa, especially in Nigeria, scamming, scamming everywhere, internet scamming, people no longer want to work. People are no longer patient. They no longer have faith in themselves. A lot of youths who go to church today, a lot of them are into internet scamming. Scamming people. Some pastors even now preach that it is no longer a sin. One of them said Jacob was a scammer. He was a deceiver. That if Jacob is in heaven, scammers will go to heaven too. And he calls himself a prophet. There are churches in Nigeria that are known for not preaching against stealing, internet scamming. Because they need the money. They need the money. They need the money. But the truth is, these people are already in hell because they have condemned themselves. Some of them no longer believe in repentance. Brethren, it is in the midst of the tribulations we will enter into the kingdom. So there is no need to give up. Don't give up on your faith in God.